Hello folks and welcome to Sound Codex. In today's video we'll be talking about operators. So what is an operator? We call it operator all those symbols that represent specific actions that can be performed on data. PD, like many other programming languages, has several objects designed to work as operators. We can distinguish between mathematical operators, relational, and logical. We already know how to use mathematical operators. So addition, fraction, multiplication, division. We already know the hot and cold paradigm. So in this video, I want to dive deeper into relational and logical ones. The key aspect of these symbols is that they are the foundation of algorithms, which are instructions designed to solve a specific problem. Now, we can start with relational operators, and as the name suggests, they can determine the relationship between values. So, for example, greater than or less than are relational operators. We can introduce an argument, so our reference value, and we can use a float box here to input our number, and then we can add a toggle to visualize the output. But why am I using this toggle? The answer is that the result is a Boolean value, which can be only true or false, represented by the binary value 0, which is false, and 1, which is true. Now we can test this operator. Is 5 greater than 0? No, it is not. Is 11 greater than 0? Yes, it is. So we can see that our toggle now turned on. Same process for less than. Now let's take a look at two variations. So here we can also use greater or equal and less or equal. In this way, we're not only verifying if our incoming number is greater or less of our target value, which here can be 10 again, but we're also verifying if the incoming number is equal to this number and we make a distinction greater or equal so in this example we have 10 which is equal so we activate the toggle 14 is greater so still we have our toggle turned on if we bring down the value to 9 the toggle turns off now these are all relational operators so we have greater, greater or equal, less, less or equal. Moving on, we have equal to, which is two equal signs, one after the other. We can use this to verify if our incoming number is equal to our reference. So is one equal to two? No, it is not. Is two equal? Yes, it is. Why are we using two equal signs? Well, in PD, we don't use the single equal number, the equal sign, sorry. But in standard programming languages, this sign is used to assign a number to a variable. So this is a very common distinction. One equal sign is used to assign a number to a variable. Double equal sign is used as a relational operator called equal to. Moving on, we have logical operators and they are used to manipulate Boolean values. So with relational ones, we can process any number and the result will be a Boolean value. This can be then processed using logical operators. Now, the first one is called end and it's defined by the double ampersand. We can write a comment, this is end. The second one is called OR and it is defined by a double vertical slash. The first one outputs a true value only when both conditions are true. So here we can use three toggles, two on top here and one at the bottom. So if both of these conditions are true, it will output one. And it is not working. Why is that? Well, 
If you know um, the hot and cold paradigm, you can easily understand why. The Boolean value sent through the rightmost inlet needs to be treated in this way, so trigger, bang, load, and we want to send its number, so the current value, and then we want to execute the operation. In this way, the end object will work even if we activate one of the two conditions, like so. We can add a print here so you can easily visualize the result. Okay, so zero, zero, zero. But if we turn on the first toggle also, we get one, so true. So this is an essential setup you have to recreate in order to make the logical operators work properly. On the other hand, the OR operator outputs a true value when at least one condition is true. So here, well, we can recreate the same patch. We need to change this to OR. And as you can see, let's clear the console. So we need one active toggle only on top here to output true, like in this example. And if we turn it off, it will output zero, so false. So far, we've seen binary operators only. So we define binary, binary operators, those operators that act on two operands to produce a new value. So here we send both to the hot and cold inlet two numbers. These two numbers will be processed, compared, and they will output a boolean value, for example. What if we use unary operators? Well, for example, abs, which calculates the absolute value of a number, is a unary operator since it has one input only. And the way it works is actually very, very simple. It takes the positive part of a number. So if we send a positive number, it will output it without any changes. But if we output a negative number, it will change its sign to positive. This, for example, is a unary operator, which falls under the mathematical operators. Part 2 of this video is available on my Patreon page where I'll show you how to build a real algorithm from scratch using all these operators and many other objects. As always, on my Patreon page you'll find a lot of tips and tricks that I do not explain on the course here on YouTube. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao!